what to do first botulinum toxin or the fillers well if you see as we have discussed in the previous videos that dynamic component has given way to the static component so that means what was there first dynamic and then the static came so the rule is for dynamic toxin static fillers so if a patient comes to you the patient has not only dynamic component but when the patient is making no expression you still see lines and wrinkles on that area of the face so that means there is static also but from where this static came of course dynamic so what would you do first of course you would inject botulinum toxin first wait for another 10 days to 2 weeks for the max results and then you have the opportunity to inject fillers yes of course i mean people they feel sometimes or they say that they want to get both the things done at the same time well that's not wrong but if you have the opportunity to plan for your patient you should plan toxin first wait for the results and then inject fillers if you ask me what would be the advantage of doing this protocol well if you are injecting filler in a static environment where the movement of the skin is less one of course you would be needing lesser amount of product and two the life of the product automatically would increase because it is being placed in a static environment